Hello, everybody. No, Welcome no, no, to... no, no. Hello there. <laughs> you thought I forgot about you. I did not. This is the love hour. This is Tab and Chance. I'm Kevin. This is Melissa. You this know is what? You Kevin, but I'm Kevin can't Melissa. Help everybody. <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself. You've been ripping and running and trying to hang. And listen, a car with no oil don't run. Either. Don't put it on. <laughs> you wanna you wanna lock the motor? <laughs> I know we're gonna let it and see what happens to you, okay? Uh, you okay, I've done this. That was great. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us for the Love Hour podcast. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on our video. The Love Hour podcast is hosted by Kevin and myself, where we talk about life, love, the pursuit of happiness, and we just share some of our struggles and you know real life things that be going on. And sometimes we have awesome, amazing guests. And today is no different. Here with us today, we have Tabitha and Chance Brown. Hey, yes. yo, yo, yo. And Kevin, hey, hey, hey. Uh, oh. introduction <laughs> to them. We are so excited. You guys have overwhelmingly put in requests for me to have them on the podcast. So I am so ecstatic that Tab was like, girl, yeah, here's my phone number. Like, let's go ahead and get a pop it. Like, immediately. So I was so excited. And this is going to be just a real chill, get to know you type of, you know, conversation. So um, for those of you who may be unfamiliar, which I do not know how, but let's say by happenstance, you've just been living under a rock and you are unfamiliar with Tab and Chance. Can you guys please do an introduction? Hmm. I am uh, Tabitha Brown. It's my husband, Chan. <laughs> I am an actress and a vegan food influencer on social media. Um, yeah, we do Fridays with Tab and Chan. <laughs> do the song, do the song. <laughs> Sometimes I get to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me like that, babe. We got company. No, I'm, sure I'm sure they know how. You I gotta go. hit him with the Friday. See, he won't. He won't let me be great hey, when we do the intro. You nah. see, I be. Friday. Yeah, you be in it. Friday. This is uh. Huh? Right here. This see? is Bobby Brown. She don't know how to do no routine. <laughs> I be trying to tell him, get in where you fit in. <laughs> you not my problem. You got to get in there. Yes, Coach. So That's hilarious. She came right here. She <laughs> just followed the routine. <laughs> I was watching one of the videos, and he was like, you always trying to do extra. <laughs> but you see how he be tapping on, he get to do the I'm music. That's exactly what he was doing. He get to do I'm the, the music. music. Why? Hey, so if you've been watching, you know I'm a big Five Heartbeats fan. Uh huh. Hey, I'm like Duck. <laughs> it's, the, it's the music. I gotta do. They messing with my music, man. They messing with my music. <laughs> we got a little team. Yeah. I'm just out there like, oh, yeah. I'm Eddie. Hey, Eddie always late, and Eddie always. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy named Eddie, so it's in my blood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that was great. So I, like I said, we are just really going to like have a low key conversation and get to know you guys, who you guys are behind, you know, Fridays with Tab and Chance. So, I mean, obviously you guys have so much chemistry and dynamics. So how long have y'all been married? <laughs> and what's your love story? Tell us all the juice. <laughs> well, we've been together for 22 years, married oh. for 17. I'm glad. I'm glad she said it first. Cause I was gonna mess that up. Yeah, I was gonna let you do it, but then I ain't want us to become unbenefited in front of the world. <laughs> Listen, we're the same though. <laughs> so, um, we grew up together. I've known Chance since fifth, maybe fifth grade. Mm -hmm. since wow. Fifth grade. Yeah, I've known him since fifth grade. Same hometown, but you know, uh, we just didn't go to the same elementary. But we we caught up in middle school, yeah. and uh, he was my boyfriend actually in eighth grade. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Tell him the whole story. Go ahead. <laughs> where did you where did you grow up at before you tell the story? Uh Eden, North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, Eden, North Carolina. Very, very small. Yeah, city. very small town. Probably small city. I think it's still today, I think it's like twenty six, twenty seven thousand. Which is a lot now. Mm, okay. Like one high school. Yeah, one high school, one oh, wow. one junior high school. And back then it was one middle school. Um but yeah, so we, we was, uh, you said back then, it made me feel old. <laughs> you up there, you up there, babe. 
you get you get me there. <laughs> but we were boyfriend and girlfriend in eighth grade. He was, you know, my first real little boyfriend. Aww. And uh, yeah, I know. See, that's how it's sweet. Now get, to the, get to the eighth grade. She uh, off you ooing now. Go get <laughs> but see, what happened was um my sister who my sister Tasha, she's six mm -hmm. years older than me, right? Okay. So she came to me right at the, you know, Check this out, kid. Towards, the, <laughs> towards the end of the school year, she came to me. She said, girl, there's a whole bunch of boys over there at the high school. You don't want no boyfriend when you go over there. I was like, oh, really? She was like, yeah, you don't want no boyfriend. So I told Chance, I said, hey, listen, my sister said it's a lot of boys over there. I didn't lie. I said, and so we gonna have to break up because I gotta go over there and see what's going on, you know. Thank oh, Tab! Hey. 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 Why hey. you do my boy like that? Don't do my boy. Don't do my boy. He didn't even have a, he didn't even have a chance. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even talk to him. You just like, hey man, listen, you a middle school boyfriend. I'm going to high school now. Hey. I just told him that's what my sister said. You know, my sister, you know, she been wrong about a lot in life. You know, <laughs> no. and I and we got over there and won't nobody over there. Really. <laughs> but he was so mad at me, he wouldn't even talk to me. He nope. wouldn't even oh. talk to me. He was hurt. Rightfully so. Right. He yes. should have been yes. madder <laughs> at you. I'm surprised he ever married you. I would have never <laughs> forgave you. Never. You never. You want to be alone. <laughs> alone, you hear me? <laughs> but I told the truth, though. I told the truth. Yeah, he came in there with a script. Sometimes we need to be lied to. The truth hurt. Lie to me. Don't tell me the truth. And all these years, she think because she told the truth, that's supposed to get her some points. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I would see him in school and stuff, and when he would walk by me, you know, I'd be like, mm -hmm. hey, Chance, he, he, honey, you know how Bernie Matt used to, uh, <laughs> honey, <laughs> he would roll his eyes hard at me, honey, would not speak to me. Mm -hmm. But I would always get this little pain in my stomach when I would see him. It would just be this pain. He said it was guilt. Oh, I was about to say that too. It may have been guilt, though. That was gas. <laughs> but I mean, I would always get it. It would just be this little thing in my stomach. And uh, I remember in 10th grade, because she had played basketball, I was at a basketball game. Me and my mom was sitting in the bleachers. And he was hugged up with his girlfriend over uh -huh. in the corner. And I remember looking, and I was like, oh. <laughs> my mama was like, I don't know what you're doing that for. I was like, what? She was like, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I said, what? She was like, that little girl going to get pregnant. She's going to have a baby, but that's your husband. I said, oh, well, you don't know me very well, mama. <laughs> First of all, I ain't going to date no man with no kids, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 15. That's how I'm supposed to think, right? <laughs> and she said, I'm just telling you. I was like, <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> and so then senior year, we started to kind of become friends again. Mm -hmm. uh, he needed help with a project. Yeah, that's and man gave you, he gave you were in punishment for three years. That's four. Hey, that's hey, four. I need yeah. the only reason I talked to her, I needed to finish my senior project. That was it. She, 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 she could type a little bit. You know, he used me. <laughs> he did too. I know who gave me with this. <laughs> On our uh, graduation day, my mama said, uh, go get Chance. Bring him over here. I want to take a picture of both of y'all in your cap and gown. I'm going to use this at your wedding. And I was like, mama, why are you saying oh, that? Mama had a conviction about this Your mom was a prophet. Yeah. Yeah, really, she was. She was really. And I was yeah. like, mama, please. But she was like, go had, on over there and get him. And what? Leah was what? One? Leah was one. Yeah, she my was My daughter one. was one at the time. Oh, you already had the baby yet? Oh, you had the baby! Oh, he you had My, hey, my mother-in-law was a prophet for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you you can't even get mad that he had the baby. That was God's plan. You got, you got to go through some things. You understand me? You got to, you, now, had you not pushed him away in eighth grade, you wouldn't have. Oh, watch this, y'all don't hear me, huh? You pushed away your blessing, and it came back with another baby. <laughs> Listen, hey. literally. She told me, go get chance. I went. Over. I ain't tell him, of course. I was like, Mama want a picture of us in, in our cap and gown. And he was like, oh, okay. So we took the picture. And then- I figured it was the least she could do, that she was the reason I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did, man. And it did a good, good project. No. <laughs> and so then, uh, you know, Chance was going to college in, in Raleigh, in St. Mm -hmm. Aug, and I was, you know, going to college in Miami, in Florida. 
and there was a uh, my girlfriend had a going away party because everybody was leaving the town, you know, going to college. Mm -hmm. I saw him there, and in my mind, I really thought when I left to go to Miami, in my mind was I ain't ever coming back. Yeah, I'm done with this this small town. I ain't never coming back. I gotta yeah. go. I'm just big. My mom just had all these dreams, and I just thought I ain't never gonna, you know, be able to live back in my hometown. And when I saw him at the party, I had this breakdown almost. Like, dang, this is the last time I'll ever see him. That that was my friend. That was hey, my boy. Hey, Kim, I was looking good too. Hey, <laughs> I was trying to rub it in, you know. I'm like, I'm about to go to college. I'm about to go to the pros. Y'all, y'all don't know nothing about me. I ain't gonna see me no more. That's really. <laughs> I, I mean, I gave him a hug, and, and something inside of me broke. I remember I, I cried like hard, like, oh, yeah, man. She did. I, she did the ugly cry. I know no chance was in heaven. He oh, was eating it I get sad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. I know I'm looking good. Yeah, <laughs> And so, you know, I said my goodbyes to everybody. Oh, and, and everybody was outside. And my friends was like, girl, why are you crying? I was like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's so sweet, though. Before, you know? And so <clears throat> I went on to college down in Miami. Was there living my best life, honey. Just out having a good old time. Miami, coming out of a small yeah. town. First of all, I was culture shocked when I got there. I was like, what are these black people that don't speak English? <laughs> <laughs> she like, hello there. They're like, como esta? She like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Like, you Dominican or something? Yeah. You and so I had been there for a little while, a couple months, and I woke up one night about two in the morning, and he was the only person I could think about. Wow. And I thought, what in the world is this? And so I started replaying all these thoughts of every time I would see him, I'd have that pain. And mm -hmm. All the different thoughts <clears> that I had, maybe even what my mama said, could it be true? Then I even thought of like, why did I get so emotional when? Yeah. I said goodbye to him. And then I just started thinking, I was like, maybe I'm in love with him. I just don't. This I don't is a movie. It is a movie. And so I, my best friend and his best friend both were in college at Howard. Mm -hmm. so I'm, it's literally 2.30 in the morning. I call my best friend, wake her up. Girl, it's an emergency. I got to get Al's number so I can get Chance's number. It's an emergency. Get his number about 3 o'clock or so. Call his dorm over and over until somebody answered to about 4 o'clock. Oh. I was like, it's an emergency. I, I need to speak to Chance Brown. And so he get on the phone and I say, listen, you ain't got to say nothing. This tab, but I think I'm in love with you. So I start telling him all these things that I just yeah. said. You know, mm -hmm. I, I had, when I was seeing you, I had this pain. And when I, you know, left you, uh, said goodbye to you, I broke down. I, all these things. I don't know, but I think, I, I think I'm in love with you. And if you don't think that I'm crazy, call me back tomorrow. This was a message? <laughs> She had me on the phone he at almost four in the morning. I didn't oh, oh, I thought it was a voice, man. I was like, it was Alicia Keys. Like, I see you over there with your daughter. Or whatever. I always put a little extra milk in your hot chocolate. That's probably why my throat was hurt because I was lactose. I shouldn't be drinking hot chocolate. Anyway, if you oh, like oh, sound, though. Right. Oh. But, but. Cam, it might as well be him because and he was crickets on the other line. Hey, he said hey, nothing. Hey, I had okay? to, hey brother, I was, I was still holding the grudge like this. Affect <laughs> your love so I could just sit here and listen. Hey, hey, no, boy, I'm like, okay. okay. Mm. Yeah. She said, uh -huh. she, no, she said, do you know who this is? She did all this talking. <laughs> yeah. And then ended it with. Because I was, I was, it was dead silence. I was just sitting there. First, I'm irritated like, man, it's four in the morning. <laughs> And I said it was an emergency. <laughs> and this is an emergency. Look, and the other guys in the, the other guys in the dorm, because we shared a dorm at, at you know. Oh we yeah, phone, yeah. Phone, phone. So everybody looking at me like, bruh, it's four in the morning. <laughs> I'm sitting there. Wrap like, it up, B. It's an emergency. <laughs> so she's she gonna say, Do you know who this is? So I, I did a long dramatic pause. <laughs> mm. Trying to play me something, I was tab, right? Yeah, it's that. Right? Mm. You know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's me. Uh, uh, hey, that thing hurt in the eighth grade, man. That thing hurt. That thing you hurt. gotta let that thing go. <laughs> hey, listen, that's why I saw, I used to see Chance, me and Chance used to work out of the same gym. I was wondering why he was so strong. He over here bitching 700 pounds. <laughs> he was like, she pushed me away in eighth grade, and then she go pay. I'm like, Chance, you good? <laughs> we was working out together, but he really has a great body. And now we're at home the whole time, and it comes at no surprise that we're all stuck in our homes for a while. Avoid the complacency, guys. It's uh, more important now than more than ever 
to stay active and keep moving. Beachbody On Demand is an easy streaming, easy to use streaming service that gives you instant access to over 1,300 super effective workouts suited for anybody at any time. The secret to getting results is getting started. Listen, me and Chance cannot go to the gym, okay? <laughs> we used to work out at the same gym. We got to work out at home. Yeah. And Beachbody is able to help you at home. P90X, insanity, 21-day fix. This is for you to keep active, keep the blood flowing. You see Chance, he's in good shape. You see me, I need to get in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> this is the company behind P90X and Sandy and 21 Day Fix. So now check out some of Beachbody's newest programs like Morning Meltdown 100 and 80 Day Obsession and Start Every Day Strong. Workouts are as short as 10 minutes that don't require extra equipment. In the time it takes you to drive and park at the gym, you could be finished working out. I personally love the 10 minute workouts because they're quick, fast, they get the workout in. I'm a busy mama, a busy business, a busy business woman. I got things to do and I really just need to feel good. Like I got my body moving, mm -hmm. get it done, move on. And right now our listeners can get a special free trial membership when you text love to 303030. You'll get full access to the entire platform for free, all the workouts, the nutrition information and support. Totally free again. Just text love, love to 30, 30, 30. Okay, Chance. Now, what you did after she finished talking? <laughs> that was it. Honey. I said, uh, she said, when I told her, I said, yeah, this, yes, tab, this is tab, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, she, she started to talk a little like, bit yeah. more. And she said, well, don't say nothing. Don't make a decision. Don't, you know, and all. I'm sitting there like, just think about what I said. And if How did you resist? Because Tab has such a sultry, sweet voice, and you so still funny. was Stone Cold Steve Austin with the nice voice? Man, listen, in the eighth grade. You can't never. <laughs> it eighth, all goes I back to eighth grade. Hey, I, I thought I was the man in the eighth grade. You I know, he had the, never dealt with the I had Jackson. never dealt with the <laughs> In his 14 like, hey. years of life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, like, and then, you know, I had to give it to him real, sir. You ain't hey, all that. Hey. Okay? My, just <laughs> There's a lot of boys over there. Over there. <laughs> at the high school. Yeah. Okay. But listen, he got me so good because I said all this. I, I let my, I, let, I mean, I spilled my heart out yes. on the phone, you know? And I said, you know, if you don't think I'm crazy, call me back tomorrow at this number, you know. And he said, all right, and hung up. <laughs> and so all day, now mind you, I'm in Miami. Click. My woman <laughs> speaks Spanish only, right? All, I had four roommates. They all spoke Spanish. But the one who lived in the room with me and shared the phone with me, she spoke no English. Okay. So I had left to go to class, and I came back, and I was like, Anna. Anybody call for me? <laughs> she said, no, no, no. I said, no, no, listen. Did the phone, did somebody call for me? Today? She said, no, no. I said, oh my God. You know, we had no call ID on the phone. And I just, I have missed the call. I was like, are you sure? She was like, no, 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 no. I was like, oh my God. So I sat in the house all day, waiting and waiting. And about 5.30, my phone rang. And you know, it didn't even ring all the way because I picked it up real quick. <laughs> it was like, you know. And I was like, hello. He was like, did you really call me at 4? I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, you crazy. <laughs> he said that, because crazy for me is a compliment. I knew that. I am. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you call me crazy. You hey, know? look, but what she don't know is what that day was like for me. Please tell us. It it got to me. I had man, I had loved this woman since the eighth grade. Aww. I just for my feelings, you know. You know how it is, Kev. You know, oh I, yeah. I just you know, yeah, I can hold on to a grudge now. Well, I see. <laughs> I see. And you know, I had went through some some life changes. Brother had a baby and all that during that period. You know, right. you know during that day. After she called me, man, I didn't go to one class. <laughs> I had to consult with one of my closest friends, and <clears throat> I listened to her. That's when Wu Tang was out. <laughs> I went from listening to Wu Tang to a little Donnell Jones. <laughs> so I'm going through a range of emotions. Where I want to be, sweet apple <laughs> tree, apple tree. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going. <laughs> I'm like, man, I had a little, I had a little girl friend thing that I had already started messing with at college. And I'm like, she just thinks she can just come in and out of my life. 
I put I push play on that Wu Tang a little bit. That's when Master P was popping off too. You know, I was you know I'm going from hardcore. Yeah, no limit soldier. <laughs> no limit soldier. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a soldier. Chance was listening to No Limit, crying like I'm a No yeah. Limit soldier. I thought I told you. You know, then I'm missing that. Hey, listen, little John B, little Donnell Jones. So I had to go. Uh, through shuffle was all over, all over the place. Over the place. Hardcore rap, R and B. Hardcore rap, R and B. All over the place, man. So then finally, I said, "Listen, I, I consulted with one of my boys, and he was like, yeah, you a sucker.' <laughs> <laughs> that was time. Yeah, that was time. He was like, yeah, yeah, you need to go ahead and stop doing all this and go and call it good, man." Oh man. And I called her, but you know, I still tried to play it tough when I called her. It's like, yeah, you know, I wasn't gonna call you. <laughs> but what you, what else you got to say? You know <laughs> Like I understand what I said. Uh, and so then we were like, you know, because I'm still in Miami and I was like, you know, when I come home, like let's we, we agreed that we would just meet and talk and see what would happen. <clears throat> and uh it was homecoming. You know, we went home, it was homecoming. We, we saw each other, and uh, it didn't really click. What? After all that? This story just keeps hey. taking turns hey. and turns. It's so emotional hey. right now. Hey, so Kev, what she do to me again? No, it ain't No, good. you did not, Tab. You better not. You better <laughs> not, Tab. He can't take no more, Tab. He done been through this for six years at this point. You better not. No. Say I'm going to graduate school, another college, <laughs> another college. It wasn't me. Yeah, it was. No, yeah, first of all, he had a little girl, a little somebody yeah, on the side, okay? Mm. So we, you know, we connected, but it just didn't feel, I was like, maybe I was tripping, maybe. <laughs> see, I don't know. See how she do it, bro? See maybe I was lusting for him. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So that was a heartbreaker, bro. She done pulled you right back in and stomped on your heart again. He stopped calling me. Mm. We both were mutually like, yeah, maybe we was tripping it. Maybe you know we. we wow. No, I came in with it. I came in with my guard up this time. Yeah, like, I'm bobbing and weaving. Give me Not, twice. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> this is for you, little champ. I couldn't take care of you in eighth grade, but I got you now. Yeah, I you got all these chocolate milks I cried Ooh. into because of you. I got a little bit more life experience now. You ain't gonna this. <laughs> so <laughs> we we didn't talk after that. That was like November, and so we didn't we didn't talk anymore. We didn't call each other. We didn't talk. Wow. And then uh, spring break came, and I was home. <clears throat> And I was riding, you know, doing my little ride through the, you know, I'd see it, which ain't but a town, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, doing my rounds. And I rode by a common street that's right down the street from his house. And one of his best friends was outside, Kevin. I was like, Kevin, what's, what's up? You know, pull up. What up? What's up? Everybody <laughs> loves Kevin. Kevin is always a good part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, he the connector. Mm -hmm. And he said, man, what's up? I'm about to walk over here to uh, Chance's house and give me a ride. And he said, Chance, that thing came back mm. oh. That's guilt for <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no. No. And so I said, okay, I'll give you a ride over there. And I, now mind you, I hadn't seen him since that last November. Mm. And um, I pulled into the driveway, he came out. When I think he realized it was my car when I pulled up. So, you know, he tried to like post up on the, <laughs> up on the top of the <laughs> Like, you know, you ain't just take his shirt off. off. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let me just go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been lifted a little. Oh, what's up? Oh, you was here? I didn't even know. I didn't even know. My bad. I was just. I was just when, he pulled, when, he, when, he, when he did that, my stomach started turning and stuff. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, hey, Chad. Hey, look, my boy hit. My boy got on the phone real quick. Kev did. And he said, hey. Tad about to bring me to your house. <laughs> I said, who? He said, set you up. I said, oh, all right, click. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I <laughs> you ain't came out the house like, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, you know, I this old thing. Oh, this old, these 360 <laughs> waves. Yeah, I just happened to be outside with my hand on the rail when they pulled in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. leaning, so leaning into it, too. You know. <laughs> Like uh, Tommy Hill figure cologne, <laughs> DK and black. Hey, you know you gotta put a little cologne on. Knock out about twenty five push ups. <laughs> you know and, and when I seen him, 
I was like, you know, we just started talking. And literally from that day, oh. we have been together ever since. Y'all, now this is a good story because <laughs> sometimes you want people, people want it to be storybook the whole way, you know, yeah. and marriage isn't like that. Like, and so me and Melissa have been together a long time as well. And people always, oh, so cute, so cute. But the longer you are together, the more likely you have some peaks and valleys. Yes. You don't get to 20 years together, Without 17 that. years married. Like every year is not perfect in cotton candy and cake. Some of them years are tough. Some of them months are tough, you know. So I love to hear those stories that are like, feel like storybook, but you know, the end is good, but sometimes the middle get a little bit rocky, you know? Right. <laughs> we still up in there. That was, that was so freaking great. That was, this, this is a Tyler Perry movie. It really was. <laughs> Fantastic, man. I was on emotional roller coaster. Tab, it didn't work out. Why are you crazy? <laughs> I felt like the, the end of the Avengers when Thanos snapped. I was like, they really died. <laughs> the people really died. And the movie is over. I was just sitting there looking at the screen like, Ooh. what happened now? <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, it's a true story. Hey, I mean, you know. Sick. We got together and and th and this is what did it because he was on spring break. I had quit college, right? I had oh. I had decided I, I'm going on a different path, so I was home, and he didn't have no way back to school. It was like a two hour drive, and I said I'll take you, mm. and, and and that made his mama look at me like you gonna take him back to school? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I don't have to. <laughs> She's the one. She's the one. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> Melissa, oh mom, and them used to make me take her back to school too. As soon as I got my first she car, did. they was like, "Take her back." I was like, "This car don't even go good." <laughs> <laughs> I literally had bought it the day before. They was like, "Take her back." Like, this is your daughter. <laughs> take her back. I said, "If you love her." And pick her up and bring her. From the first day I got that car, I took her back and forth to school. For four years. No gas money. Ain't nobody tipping on money. I'm talking about y'all ain't even gave me five. Nothing. Take her back. Yeah. I went. I was, listen, I would go take him, come pick him up, anything. Yeah. I mean, we went through so many things um, together at that time. I mean, at 19 years old. Yes. You know, we were 19 yeah. and we were doing things like, you know, real grown folk can't handle today, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. so we moved to California the first time when we were 19. I moved to Orange County in 98 after I quit school and because <clears throat> I was going to school for fashion <clears throat> design. Mm -hmm. And again, something woke me up and I called my dad and said, Daddy, I'm down here wasting your money. You need to come on and get me. Um, <laughs> And, and my dad is literally was like, all right, I get off on Friday. I'll be down there Saturday morning because it's like a 13-hour drive. Mm. And so <clears throat> I was trying to figure out how to pursue this acting thing. And so I had uh, got accepted to the college in Chicago, but didn't have no financial aid, so couldn't go. So I was like, I'm going to California, Chance. I'm just going to go, and I'm, I'm going to go make it. And so he was still in school, but had, was thinking about going to the military. And I was like, you don't want to go to no military. So we got into an argument about that. But I was like, well, I'm going to California and I'm going to go make it in Hollywood. And so he, after, this is how quick he, his mind changed, right? We both was crying at the airport as I was leaving. When I got to my layover in Chicago to call him, he was like, I'm going to move out there with you. <laughs> Chance, you a sucker, man. You still a sucker, man. Your boy, your boy ain't tell you a lie, Chance. But we all suckers to the women we love. They bring the sucker out of us. You be hard to everybody else, but she be like, I'm moving. I love you. I love California. I love California raisins. I love avocados. I like berries, oranges. I like a whole county of oranges. I would love to be there. I love oranges. <laughs> And that's funny you said that because that's where I was in Orange County, <laughs> nowhere near LA. It had my mama had somebody out there that said I could come stay. I thought I was going to to Hollywood, and I was in Laguna, Niguel, <laughs> far, yeah. far yeah. at nineteen, working two jobs, paying the majority of the latest bills. Oh, uh -huh. and I, I didn't know no better, right? Yeah. And it was three months later because first he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go to community college over here while while he over there," and during that time, it was what, when you was working at the mill or you hadn't got a job when Man, I made I was the doing, child support? Nah, stuff. I was doing real work. And no, nah, that was before. Yeah, you're right. That was before I got a job when you were just doing that. Because, you know, because he had a baby, right? So I'm working two jobs and living out here trying to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah. He was having some hard times trying to figure out 
things out. So, but he had this baby, he had to pay child support. So I was paying his child support. Oh, you was in it. And I paid his tuition so he can go to community college. I was like, look, we're hey, not, see that kid? We're not, hey, we're that, not gonna stop the dream. That's what she owe you for eighth grade, ninth grade, <laughs> tenth grade, eleventh grade, senior <laughs> year. First year, that's back child support for you. If you we wouldn't have never had to go through that, it wasn't for you, Tab. You need to own your part of this. Uh, <laughs> Why it sound like uh, y'all had the conversation? Oh, we are me and Chance on the same wavelength. You understand me? We getting you. I got our wheel. We uh, kindred spirits out here. Literally, but, I, but but you see, I was we were doing this at nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. Right at 19, yeah. this is what we were doing. And yeah. so then it just became too much. And three months later, he had got a little job and he was saving his money. And then he flew out to California to stay with me. Mm. When he got here, he was like, hey, babe, this is crazy. This lady taking all your money your with money. you. Yeah. And you're not in Hollywood. You ain't doing no acting. Mm. Yeah. You have to move back to North Carolina, save up for one year, then move to LA so you can really pursue your thing. Yeah. So I was like, that, that makes sense. And so we drove cross country. Wow. <laughs> and I had a little Saturn I had bought. I was leasing it. I still owe money on those miles. But <laughs> <laughs> that Saturn ain't even a company no more. The OCEO looking on TikTok like, you owe me for that. You over here making delicious vegan meals and you ain't pay that Saturn off. <laughs> you know? And so I never forget we drove across country because I had convinced Chance to grow his hair out because I was in a, you know, I was like a, you know, I was Erica Badu and Lauren Hill back <laughs> already, okay? So I'm like, you need to grow your hair out and get some dreads, but until then, we're going to braid it up. So me and him both had our cornrows driving hey, across country. 19, 19 years <laughs> old, driving across 40, going through Oklahoma. Ooh. Man, we, we stopped at a McDonald's. Oh my God! They called the sheriff. They called the sheriff. I, y'all, oh, listen, y'all was trust looking me. strange. In I, they thought this was set it off. They was like, "Nope, I seen the little movie. <laughs> That's three all right." That we had McDonald gift cards that our little job had gave us for going away gift. They was like, "Y'all take this and you eat on your drive." So we was like, we "Got a McDonald gift card?" That's when they was paper. Yeah, little certificates. And when we pulled up. We walked in. It's like the music stopped. It was like, yeah, it's like it was. It was, like, it was exactly like those movies when yeah. you see it and people laugh at it. I don't find humor in that stuff these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I see. Yeah. I, I remember that, and I yeah. remember I was uh, <clears throat> awakened. That was a that was a, a moment in my life that I'll never forget. I walked in there, and and it literally. The mood changed. It's like you could hear a pin drop. Yeah. The mood changed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, We started wow. looking around and then we seen the sheriff pulling up. We was like, Oh, we, we ain't gonna eat at this McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to go. Hey. It was, it was, ooh. Hey, but the, but, but over here, but anywho, <laughs> that's one of our moments. And so, you know, we get back to North Carolina. The goal was one year to stay and save up money. The one year turned into five years a baby, wow. a house, and mm -hmm. cars, and, you know, new responsibilities yep. Yep. Um, and a really for me a forgotten dream I yep. thought now I got all these responsibilities I ain't gonna be able to pursue acting anymore right mm. and Chance was in the music and so he had built a studio in our house and you know we were doing we were doing good yeah. in yep. North Carolina but I woke up one morning something had shook my bed and like like an earthquake in, in the bedroom it like shook my bed and when I woke up I felt like my skin was burning and I heard a voice that sounded like thunder. And it said, this is not the life I planned for you. Wow. And I got scared. And I got on my knees. I said, now, Lord, uh, if this is you talking to me, I need you to show me a sign today. Yeah, yeah make it plain. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go to the crazy house and, mm -hmm. and just surrender myself. Yeah. Right. And, uh, I told Chance what happened. And Chance was like, hmm. Oh, OK. <clears throat> Take your Tylenol. Go on, make sure. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm telling you, I heard this voice. But I asked him to show me a sign today. And so we, uh, later that day, was going to the mall. And uh, on the radio, Buster Brown, who was the DJ, came on and was like, I got this new TV show on the WB network. And I'm holding auditions looking for a female co-host. Wow. In our town, ain't nobody having no auditions. Mm -hmm. I went crazy in the car. I was like, that's my sign. You know, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I ended up going to that audition and I booked it. And so that's what got me dreaming again. For mm -hmm. a year. I, you know, hosted and start doing theater again, start doing film. And then I went to Tans. I said, babe, now it's time for us to move to LA. 
He was like, no. Nah, hey, Kev, you see what you nah. see what? It, hey, bro, see what I'm living with here? Man, man I'm actually no, the tab. I was about to say. Chance, I got to let you go now. I oh, am the what? Now I'm the tab in the team. <laughs> I was this, just this, about this, to say. Now oh, you got to talk to Melissa. <laughs> Oh, I just I just dropped you off too. Like, yeah, forget you, Ted. Now, what the Lord said to you? <laughs> Even when she said you were like, "Let's go back and save some money," that's my. Plan. Oh, that's Melissa. All oh, Melissa, we are flourishing. We have planted roots. We bought a house. We are making money. We have children. Why would we pick up and leave and go to LA? And that's the crazy thing, and I want to hear the rest of this Me as well. Too. It makes so much more sense at 19 and like, oh, we're young, we're crazy. The older you get and you got kids in school and, and a mortgage, so strong. it is hard because now people looking at you crazy and kind of rightfully so because people don't do that. Like, right. there's a certain time in your life you do that, and even then it don't make sense, but then you got stuff. When we were coming down here, people was like, y'all leaving Boeing? <laughs> Boeing. Both y'all work at Boeing. Your kids are in private school. You own a home. You you know what? Are y'all crazy? Black people don't work at Boeing to go, and y'all ain't got no jobs in LA. Like, no, we was crazy, and I think we was a little crazy. You gotta have crazy faith. Shout out to my God. In order to even be in this industry, uh, one, of you, have one of you gotta be crazy, and the other one has gotta be sane. That's how I look at it. Listen, that I, actually is completely. Is Correct, because I ain't gonna hold you, Chance. I was like, when we move from Washington, let's just let our house go to foreclosure. She was like, but we could rent it. I was like, oh yeah. We could rent it. <laughs> 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 well, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Anything could be there. Hey, that was like me when we got back. We were supposed to be saving money. I was like, I'm just not gonna pay the credit card so we can save the money to get back to the <laughs> I mean, you said save money, we saving money. I told you I still owe on the lease mile. I still owe for the mile. <laughs> but look at me now, though. Look at me now, though. I'm getting seven better. Years, for... It's going to fall off in seven years. It's going to fall off. <laughs> That was my same ideology. <laughs> bankruptcy, everybody got bankruptcy. <laughs> don't matter if you got I'm going to buy my house in cash. You can't yeah. take a million dollars. You can't take wow. a million dollars. That, that my wife. Me. Oh, oh, my wife. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is me, too. You're my brother, OK? <laughs> when I say I adopted you as my little brother, I meant that thing. You are my brother. That is, oh. But look, exactly <laughs> same Listen. Listen, I told Jen, so after I convinced him, I was like, baby, we got to go. I didn't heard the voice of God. I'm telling you, something is waiting for us out there, right? He was like, all right, baby, look. Because first I told him, look, I'll go and come back and forth. He was like, no, you're not going to do that, OK? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. Hey, try, trying to leave a brother again. I was, like, Listen. I was gonna come back and forth though, right? I was gonna be by coast. <laughs> <laughs> and we, no had, we had this much by coastal money. Yeah, no money. Right. <laughs> Girl, we can't even be by coastal in North Carolina. You can't even go from the beach to Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about LA. I can't even take you to south of the border and back. Right. <laughs> And so we <laughs> saved up for nine months. We saved up eight thousand dollars and moved oh, wow. to Los Angeles with a baby. And you know, I, my daughter was three when we moved here. Mm -hmm. And so we moved and literally had eight thousand dollars. Eighty-eight, eighty-eight hundred. Because our rent was fifteen hundred. We was like, we need to know that we can live for three months with yeah. our rent be paid, and we'll be able to get a job by then. Because we yeah. had no jobs. We didn't know nobody out here. Mm -hmm. And so we got here and been on the grind and ups and downs and ins and outs and yep. oh my god. Sixteen years this year. This year be sixteen years we've been here. Wow. <clears throat> Man. Yeah. So what was it like uh when you got here? Cause I know part of your story that's going around now is it's kind of like a dream deferred. You know, like I've seen some of your clips on uh mm -hmm. acting and I <clears throat> I first saw crazy enough, we know some of the same people. Yeah. And we didn't even realize it. And, you know, um, Auntie Karen and, and the girls. Karen knows everybody. Karen knows everybody. 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 The <laughs> girls were the first people that watched our boys. Now the girls are in college. I, I just can't deal with it. That's another story for another day. But, um, you know, on TikTok, you have blown up. Y'all, I first saw y'all. Uh, well, it was Tad and her brother. 
uh, show us the do the renegade, renegade, <laughs> renegade, renegade. I, I, I still don't know the dance. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I went on TikTok to make dad jokes, and you were just going crazy up there. But take us back, because this is the part now, but take us back to when y'all were struggling and, and walk us through how you got from there to here. Well, you know, when we first got here, you know, when, when you hear the voice of God, right, and you hear this thing, and when, when you hear a voice that sounds like thunder that says, this is not the life I planned for you, you, you know something is waiting. Yes. Mm. In my mind, I thought when we get there, it's about to be on. Honey, they waiting for me. Mm -hmm. and, and then we got here, and nobody was here waiting. Bro. <laughs> Ain't that the... That's the realization that we had to like, these people they ain't waiting on you at all. At all. They, as a matter of fact, they don't even know you exist. And they ain't looking out for you. You are just one. This city chews people's dreams up and spits them out and don't nobody care. No. And, I can't even tell you how many people done came here, moved, and I feel bad because it some last three weeks, three months, three years. But you gotta have, it's a lot. You really gotta have patience. Mm -hmm. um, and there has to be something inside that keeps pulling, right? Mm -hmm. When we first came, uh, we were here just a couple months and my mom started getting sick back in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And she was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. So my whole world stopped again. Mm -hmm. and for the next three years, I went back and forth to North Carolina to help take care of my mom until she passed away. Um, and during that process, Chance was in the police academy which was probably the hardest time in his life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm dealing with my mom transitioning. He's dealing with that. We're at odds every, uh, you know, we don't get to see each other. We fighting all the time, honey. We together, but we ain't together because we mm -hmm. ain't on the same time. It's mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. it was a, the, the roughest time. And finances, what finances, mm -hmm. right? You know, he took that job. The, our original plan was, you going to, you know, go take this job and it's got good uh, benefits and it's, <laughs> You know, the pay is good so that I can pursue my dream. And then, he, cause you know, I used to be like, and then I'm going to blow up and then I'll just take you on out of it. Yeah. Like, give me about five years. Give me about Literally five. the same person. Don't, get, I'm a blow, don't you even worry about I'm going to pay your job off in cash. Like, pay your, <laughs> I'm going to pay your boss in cash for your salary. Hey. That don't even make sense. I'm giving people cash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and literally, hey, I feel hey, like I've had these point. exact conversations with Kevin verbatim. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this literally was how I thought things, right? And so, you know, after my mom passed away, I kind of, you know, I jumped right into doing as much as I can, a bunch of little, like, indie films. I mm. think I did, like, five back-to-back -back features, but they were indies. That's when Blockbuster was a thing, and, you know, movies would go straight to Blockbuster. Yeah. Mm. We hope some of those movies died with Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> I did that, but still all small victories, never anything big, mm -hmm. you know, a couple commercials here and there, but I never really booked the big thing. Mm -hmm. um, hey, let me jump in right here. Oh, yes. However, and I'm sure you can relate to this, Melissa, every time she booked any little thing, <laughs> it was the thing that was going to take off and she was going to blow up. It's all good shit. What do you mean it ain't going to Of course. Of course. This movie called Three Grasshoppers and a Baby is my ticket to this the top. Is it. it is directed by a five-year-old, man. This guy is a, a prodigy. You understand me? I'm out. This is the one, man. I don't know, I don't know a whole lot about the industry, right? I don't know a lot about the industry. So in the beginning, I was like, oh, okay, babe. Okay, what does that mean? I'm always like, what does that mean? <laughs> and she and she would be on nine <laughs> on on ten and then nothing. <clears throat> hey, and nothing. Hey, and nothing. hey his and, and only look, question always, well, how much they gonna pay you? Right now they ain't got the budget. Hey, all this <laughs> free exposure. Work, hey, yet. All this free but work. When it exposure, get bold. And I'm saying, okay, so you know it. <laughs> You got to let it go through the cycle, babe. You got to let it. It's going to go. All these years. <laughs> Thomas, she has, you don't. You got to see the man. You worried about money right now? I got to build my wrestling. <laughs> Sam Jackson ain't make it till he was 47. I always wanted to know. This Hey, Kev, let me ask you this. <laughs> Who was y'all paying all them dues to? That's what. You got to pay your dues. I don't know. 
Oh, who got the dude? I ain't got no, ain't got no receipt for the dude. I don't even know who I was paying her to. They, the, the dude's person is filthy rich. He ain't gave me nothing. We ain't get no transactions. It's supposed to be a mountain, okay? Mountain dude, okay? And, and listen, why does the person who gets paid the dues get all of the dues? Table bill. The cable bill, we gotta put some on it. We always gotta put some on the cable bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is I never. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I gotta that's turn crazy. the AC on. I'm so hot. It never sounds crazy to me, though. It all Ooh, makes sense to it. me. Yeah, we just needed to win the film festival. <laughs> 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 this film festival is, is in someone's backyard. This is, this is not something. Wait. This is moon, moon walk. I'd be like, babe, they doing a premiere. <laughs> we got to get dressed up. Let's go. We're going to. And so I done sold it because I'm leaving. Do we show up and it's literally in somebody's backyard. Hey, and I didn't. Hey, listen, I just spent all my last little cable money and everything on <laughs> this in it. You know what I'm talking about? This is She's it. like, baby. Yeah, it's like six people. We've been wasting money on an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I had my family exchange movie premiere, it was it sat 700 people in there. I had 32 people <laughs> all spread out. I was like, y'all come, come, sit, come sit together at least so we can take a picture and I'll just crop out the rest of it. I'll make it, I'll make it dark in the back. <gasps> It's 32 million. Oh, it's the envision. It's hey, the envision of it all. I got one more thing. This oh. between this between me and Melissa. <laughs> this between me and Melissa. <laughs> what happened to me and you, Chip? <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. nah bro. We was boys when we was in eighth grade. I've been, I've, been waiting waiting I've been waiting on this for 16 <laughs> years. <laughs> hey, so listen, I'm gonna I just want to ask you one question, Melissa. Okay. Melissa. Did it get to a point to where it's just impossible for you to match his energy when he come home with that excitement and then he get he get bothered by you. Like you don't believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm the enemy. No, no don't not. you understand? Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry was homeless. We haven't even been homeless yet. You don't want it bad enough. You don't want it. You don't want this life. You don't hey. believe in my dream. The Lord spoke hey. to me. She'll come, trying to tell she'll come in that we about to make it, babe, this the one. And I'd be like, well, that's good, babe. I'm cool. All right, we're well, good. And then she'd be like, you ain't excited with me. And you I'm are, like. You, a kid, you are a dream killer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my dream. I got to get up. I am a realist. <laughs> Why don't you believe in me? What are these seven failures you're gonna hold against me for the rest of my life? This is the eighth film festival. Okay. It's over, it's in a park this time. I have graduated from a backyard. I just want, hey Melissa, I ain't had a chance to talk to nobody like you in all these years. I, 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 no. I never related to a couple more than right now. Hey, hey, listen, I booked my first commercial where I got residuals. You couldn't tell. <laughs> Okay, I said, you see that? All those times that you did not believe that I was about to be rich. Damn, when I got that special commercial, I was like, huh, <laughs> looks like I'm on TV after all. Oh, another <laughs> commercial, a third commercial? Wow, oh, I'm in the mailbox too. Looks like somebody was right about something Ooh. worth it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but listen, Ooh. for the record, it was not that we did not believe. Say that. Say that. But how long do, can a person hold this expression? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Chance? It's hard to hold that expression because it hurts your skin. <laughs> and it's the cold, hard truth, guys. Your skin has needs. Yeah. If you want to look as good as possible for as long as possible, you need to address them now. We get it. You might not know where to start, but there's a company that's taking all the guesswork out of it for you, and that's Lumen. Lumen is on a mission to take all the guesswork out of it for you. Lumen's mission is to help give men, that's me and you, Chance, dream killer, <laughs> the amazing skin that they deserve through high quality, expert created products right to your door. Listen, I'm sick of using Melissa's stuff. I ain't using no more serums. My Lumen stuff came in. 
my beard moisturized, my skin moisturized. I'm looking good. Easy to use, smells good. Everything is good. I love the skin moisturizer. I love the way my skin feels. <laughs> my favorite is the No Nonsense Charcoal Cleanser. It makes my skin feel good and cleansed, and it smells amazing. And I get my own facials, and now she can't use my stuff. The No Nonsense Charcoal Cleanser is the one for me. It's not just about looking good. It's about feeling good. You need good skin health, especially as you get older, to prevent long-term damage. You deserve to look and feel your best, and here's your way to start. Go to lumenskin.com slash love, love to get a one-month free trial of everything you need to start your skin care, skin care journey at home. That's lumenskin.com slash love to get your first month free, lumenskin.com slash love. That was fantastic, by the way. <laughs> oh, that man, this is, listen. Fantastic. I, you, you, you feel crazy until somebody be crazy like you, and you be like, I told you I wasn't crazy. <laughs> and I feel like in order to make it in this industry, you have to have some sort of insane belief in yes. yourself, because there's a crazy amount of rejection yeah. that you face and you really got to keep out and the thing i tell people is when you audition they don't even tell you you didn't get it they you just don't hear nothing or you no. just see the advertisement and you just, man i done seen things i auditioned for thought i was hearing back and now i'm watching the episode air like but y'all going production the day i auditioned y'all you knew you weren't gonna give it to me y'all even bring me <laughs> just you knew who you wanted Say let's go some time you ever had them auditions where you think they they lost your number but they were <laughs> <laughs> they probably wanted to, I, I, you know what, I didn't put the right number on the thing. They probably looking for me. They probably looking for me. But they oh, me. I love this. So. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of ups and downs. Oh, ups, yeah. Ups. Never any big breaks. No. Uh, and then we decided to take a break and have another baby. We was like, what I told Chance, I said, you know what I know for sure, Hollywood ain't going nowhere. It'll be no. there when, we, when I get back. Yeah. So let's, let's have another baby. And I went and got a regular nine to five job so we can have steady income coming in at that time. And um, that was the plan for that was I'm going to work this job for two years. Mm -hmm. We can go back into some acting after the baby is born. Uh -huh. Of course, that two years didn't, <laughs> didn't turn in. I got stuck. Yep. I the money, you know. Um, <clears throat> and then I got sick after that. And that's the only reason I started doing videos. That's right. That's okay. Before, before I ever started doing videos, I was out trying to do stand up right before I started getting sick. Mm -hmm. I told Chance, I said, now I got it. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's easier for comics to get TV. <laughs> so I'm going to go out here. I'm now we start all over again. Chance, <laughs> got a whole new career. Oh. Forget the indie film, right? I'm going to be a I had big it all star. wrong. I know what it is now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Go. yeah. I'm gonna get discovered on one of these open mics. And babe, that's the babe, that's gonna be it. I'm finna blow up. Hey, but you know, with that, he I was, a, he I was enjoyed yeah, it. I enjoyed that. That, that <laughs> one I was I was helping her with the jokes. Aww. And that was fun. And at this point, and I'm sure you too, Melissa, you go through all of this with, with, with these crazy people. <laughs> And it kind of, you kind of evolve. You kinda I thought you were talking about Hollywood. You talk that's me and Tan. <laughs> that was personal. That was personal. Okay, cool, cool. Just want to make sure. I was clear. Just want to make sure. I was, I was unsure, but I got it now. Yeah, yeah, I'm a crazy was, person. How much y'all? I'm talking about y'all. <laughs> you you kind of evolve into a, into a, you take a liking to it. They your crazy people. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, and with me, if I got a stressful job, you know, and I'm dealing with world issues and all, you know, people. So. I can't, I can't dream the way that my wife dreams. Right. Right. It, it's not, it wouldn't, I don't think it's healthy with my line of work for me to mm -hmm. be that way. Uh, <clears throat> so she's my dog in the fight is yeah. what I like to say. Mm. Uh, so when she was doing the comedy thing, it was like me being on the stage. So yeah. it was a different kind of thing. And I felt like she was controlling her own destiny and it was opening the door for people to truly see who she really is. Mm -hmm. It's an act, right? Yeah. But it's not like what I would have to see her conform to when she was going to the audition. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So it was, it, for years, I would get offended. Oh, yeah. He hated I, the I, industry for a, a Yeah, long I, I hated the industry because I'm rooting for my wife. I feel yeah. like my wife's the best. She's the best. What you talking about? That's right. the best shows over you? Oh, right. man, forget. You know, I was hating on everybody <laughs> yep. in, in my house, to be honest with you. So, but with the comedy thing, it was kind of confirming what I was thinking. I was always telling her, babe, don't, no, nah, be yourself. Yeah. yeah. I was still scared to be yeah, me. Be yourself. And when she got on the stage, I was like, 
You do you hear all these people are responding? That's you on the stage. That's yeah. you. Not yeah. the character that they trying to mold you in to be. Right. So and you know, I, I was invested a little <laughs> bit more in a different way. I've always supported her, but I was invested a little bit more when she got up on that stage. Yeah, that was fun to me. I love I was starting to too. finally be a little free. Yeah. That's yeah. A little Find your voice. Right, because yeah. for all these years, even from working corporate America and to acting, I was told, cover your accent. Yeah. Uh, be a certain size, wear your hair one way. Mm -hmm. So, I I mean, if you go back and look at my old stuff, you be like, where did you stay there, Tam? Mm -hmm. I was always trying to fit in. Yeah. He would always tell me, forget that, just be yourself. I'd be like, I can't, though, because this is what they want. Yeah. And then it wasn't until I got sick and I couldn't do stand up, I couldn't audition, I couldn't do anything. I was sick for over a year and a half. And I literally thought I was going to die. That's mm -hmm. how sick I was. And I had my come to Jesus moment in the bathroom where I asked God, I said, God, if you heal me, you can have me. Mm -hmm. you, can have of me. you can have me and I will go on this journey ahead of, and it'll only be what you tell me to do. And couple of weeks later I had a dream and I saw myself on a show and in this dream I was free I had my hair in a little afro I was uh spoke with my accent <clears throat> I was just happy mm -hmm. and I so uh I like woke up and I was like Lord now my dreams have always meant something they either come to pass or they show me signs and I prayed and I said God now I ain't <clears throat> out here auditioning or anything I'm in this moment I'm sick what what was that? Mm -hmm. And I heard a voice that said, start doing videos. And I was like, <laughs> videos? <laughs> I don't do I, I am an actress. I don't do crack. <laughs> crack is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> crack is right. I had really believed that if you did videos, you weren't taken serious in Hollywood. Oh, no. That was absolutely true. Yeah. At one point in time. That's how it was. Mm -hmm. and, so, and I also thought that I had won an Oscar, okay? And I was above a video. In my right. mind, I don't know this long resume I had. <laughs> um, but then, but God was very adamant. He said, start doing videos. I was like, videos? Why, what, why would I do a video? Yeah. And he said to me, when you were out doing stand-up, trying to get a show, you was reaching 15, 30 people a night. You start doing uh -huh. videos, you reach thousands in minutes. And so I thought, the same, revelation. Tab, the same exact thought I had. No lie. The I, exact same I thought. said there's only 300 people max at this comedy club that can ever see me. The internet is endless. I could 300 views is low in a, for a video. Yeah. And that's a max of 300 people. That's crazy. You yeah, wouldn't stand up. The exact same same thing. Relation. Like I got to get in front of more people. The internet is bigger than the stand up uh, comedy club. Wow. Listen, I was, I was talking to both of us. He was sending us the same text, like, "Oh yeah, kid." Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know what, this I was literally yeah. fighting against it though because I was just so hesitant. And then God reminded me. He said, "Remember a couple of weeks ago, you told me whatever I ask of you, if I heal you, you mm. do whatever I ask." And I was like, "Oh, you caught me on a bad day, that girl." Day. God be petty sometimes when he reminds you of the stuff you that already told you. Like, God, you didn't have to do me like that. He be talking like Thanos. Look where you are. You did all that to come right back to me. Right. <laughs> I know I told you that, but I don't need you to remind me. Right. right. So that is literally the only reason I started doing videos. And when I first started, it would be 30 people watching. Mm -hmm. A couple hundred views. And I'd be like, really, Lord? A thousand in minutes? Like, where they at? Where the thousands at? And we were broke. Well, I would look. I ain't had no savings. Chance was still working, but I had been on disability for over a year. Mm. Now that I was feeling better, I thought we did a 30 day vegan challenge after watching What the Hell. Mm -hmm. And that's what made me start feeling better. And after that, I told Chance, I was like, I think I'm going to go vegan. Okay. And, you know, we did it together. We did 30 days together, right? The first 10 days, the headache I had had every single day for a year and seven months disappeared. Wow. And I started feeling better day after day after day. And so we got to the 29th day and I told Chance, I said, I know that this was supposed to be a 30 day vegan challenge, but I know tomorrow is <clears> over, but I think this is my path. I I'm going to go vegan. And Chance uh -huh. said, that's good. Babe. Tomorrow I'm going to need a piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're clear. <laughs> my road ends here. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't just say I'm going to eat meat. I, I need a piece of chicken. This chicken been on my calendar. I got a, a drawing of a drumstick on the I'm first kidding. of the month. 
the Obama <laughs> special Honey. tomorrow. <laughs> and, that, and I mean, you know, I always tell people that because <laughs> sometimes you got to make decisions to, that may change your life and you have to be willing to go on it alone. Ooh, message. So, I, I was like, okay, that's that's cool for you, but this is my journey. I'm I'm going vegan. And the moment I said it out my mouth, the same voice I had heard that told me to start doing videos whispered in my ear and said, now tell people what you eat. And that's mm -hmm. literally, I was like, oh Lord, I gotta go on here and tell the people I'm going vegan and like permanently. In the process of us doing our 30 day, I had also shaved off all my hair. Oh, and I was wow. like, oh Lord, they're gonna be like, we knew eventually she was gonna lose her mind. <laughs> In, in Hollywood, she thought it was Britney Spears. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I, I started doing videos and I said, you know what, y'all, um, you know, I'm going vegan. And when I do, I'm going to just tell y'all about these vegan options that I find. So I would cook in my kitchen and I would, you know, uh, do uh, product reviews of vegan food when I found them. And still, was, no one was really watching my videos. Mm -hmm. So about October, I told Chance, I was like, I'm feeling better now. I want to be able to start auditioning again. You know what? I'm going to go drive Uber because I'm probably going to get discovered in my car, pick up a director or a producer. Here we go again, Melissa. Here we go. That's every time. You know what's crazy about this, Chance? I know that's not what happened. In my mind, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Tab, that is good. <laughs> yeah. You're going to you're gonna have, you're going to pick up Steven Spielberg in an Uber X. This makes yeah. perfect sense to me. I knew I was going to pick go. up. I knew this, okay? Go, Tab, go. It's cool. It's going to work out. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Like, yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is perfect. However, I told him, I said, I'm going, I'm going to probably get discovered in my car. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. Right. Mm -hmm. So that December 30th, when I was dropping somebody off at a Whole Foods and I'm still new on my vegan journey, I said, ooh, Whole Foods be having good vegan options. I'm going to go ahead and give me some, some breakfast. Put myself on an Uber break. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they had a, a TTLA sandwich with vegan bacon. I was like, ooh, I ain't never heard of that. Tempe bacon. Let me, let me try that. Add a pickle. Honey sat in my car because I'm on my break. Ate the first half of the sandwich so fast that I was like, oh, I got to do a video to tell people I found us another vegan option. Okay. So I'm in my car, I do the video, post it, turn my notifications off. I go on back to driving Uber. By the time I get home that evening and turn my phone on, that video had over 50,000 views. And I was like, wow. who's watching this video? <laughs> Next morning, it had over 100 some thousand. I told Chan, I said, man, I think I'm going viral. And he was like, what that mean? I said, I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> why are you say you're going viral? What do you mean? I don't know. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, "Were well, you gonna make some money?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> Just I don't about know. that dollar. Hey, look, like said, look, and let me put, let me go and put this uniform on. Go and put it. <laughs> So nice. You Are being you viral. Bad? No, all right. I, I gotta go to work. Check associated <laughs> with listen, virality. Now, mind you, <laughs> every day. I was consistent since God told me, since I heard the voices say, start doing videos. I was consistent every day. I was doing videos in my kitchen every day, right. cooking. And Chance would be like, You doing another video in here? Mm -hmm. I was like, Babe, God told me to do it. He was like, You got these people hey. looking through our house. Hey, I'd be walking through the house yeah. getting off work, and she'd be talking about, Shh. I, got I, can't the people even, I can't even go in the refrigerator. I'm my not, I can't even go. I just been working all day. And I paid for I'm confused. <laughs> you know, everybody else is he would I'm have an attitude. I am chance. Chance is me. We are weed. You talking about come and say hey. Come and say hey to the people on No, the I don't want to say hey. I want to take out this uniform. <laughs> 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 just come be in my video. I'm trying to get your numbers up. Come rock <laughs> with me, man. Hey, look. I am tired. If you go back to the first couple of them, the first couple of months, you see Chance like this. What's up? So, <laughs> <laughs> or you would just hear his voice. You hear his voice, but you never seen him. Hey, so hey, I pop on there and be like, man, hey, y'all ain't got nothing else to do. Y'all in my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, he used to call them people, them people. Yeah. <laughs> them people. <laughs> uh, so, after that video went viral. In four days, Whole Foods reached out, and I partnered with them and became their brand ambassador, right? Wow. wow. And after that, every time I went live, it was thousands and minutes. Every time I posted a video, thousands and minutes, right? And not only that, don't forget, I sat in my car eating a sandwich doing my video. I said I'm going to get discovered in my in car. In your car. 
And Don't God ask me, director. bro, what I say. God is the director. Ah, okay. come on. Hey, 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 so Kev, guess what I be doing now? You, you ain't hey. did your video today. You better hey. get on there. You, you said you was going to be on there to let me. Um, you know what time it is. I didn't see your the video. Money started going. rolling in, Kev. <laughs> money, was, uh, money started to roll in. Get on there. Chance would be like, ain't you got a video or something? You ain't you got. Listen, let me tell you what. Melissa was Chance. I don't want to be in no video. Don't ask me no nothing. <laughs> now she like, can you schedule? Tell me when you're going live so I don't make sure we go live at the same time. <laughs> Oh, going live at the same time. Oh, are we, are we, are we crossing each other now? Look, now he's talking about, you know, I was thinking I want to do a podcast. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Yeah, you don't think maybe. Hey, Melissa, we, hey, they always said, no. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Hey, look, I can change my mind. That is <laughs> called evolution and growth. Hey, keep, hey, keep them on schedule. It's 11. <laughs> It's a left. I already put the lights up. All you got to do is walk in. <laughs> and then when I got on TikTok in March, okay, because I had, I went for two years. I kept doing videos. I toured the country, mm -hmm. telling my story. Made some great, great stride. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and was doing well. And then my daughter was like, Mom, you should get on TikTok. I was like, girl, why in the world would I get on TikTok with them kids? She was like, because you... You're so like loving and stuff. I think you'll be a good like mom figure on there. I was like, I ain't doing that. Then somebody from Whole Foods reached out and was like, You ever thought about getting on TikTok? I was like, Well, now wait a minute. <laughs> you think I should get on there? Hey, you think I should? My baby said the same thing. I said the same thing. So I was like, Well, let me get on here. I really did just want to do the renegade dance first. I was like, Let me and my brother figure out how to do that first. That's the first video that went by. Dude, that was just March of this year. Hey, yeah. March 7th was my first video. Wow. March 7th was your first TikTok? <laughs> yes, and March 9th was my first cooking TikTok. What you talking? Honey, uh, talking 3 million today followers. Come on. Man. Two, two old people not knowing what they're doing. Listen, but here's the thing. I This is what I love, Tav. The reason you work, it's working because you are you. Right. And there ain't nobody else like you. I'm on TikTok all day. It is the same type of video over and over. It. Same dance challenge, same everything. Nobody's doing, I'm not, I, quiet as kept out. I ain't gonna hold you. I done seen some chefs trying your TikTok. I, I done see, see, but they ain't got what you got. My kids be tagging, talking about you trying to be at tab. I be like, y'all <laughs> stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stop. Listen, stop. you I could give you my Rolodex, but you can't make the calls I can make. If Come it ain't on, me, it ain't me. It, and I listen, there's I get it, right? That's how the industry is, but you can't do what Tap can do. It's just something about her voice. You don't have her voice. She got that aerial. Ah, <laughs> ah. So is that TTLA? I see a lot of our fans who are watching us on Patreon say, I've been watching Tap since TTLA. Yeah, is that, that the name of the sandwich? The yeah. yeah, and you know, the funny thing is I said the name of the sandwich wrong. I called it the TTLA, and so Whole Foods changed the name of the sandwich. And then Shut they, up. Yeah, it was only available here in Southern California, but they rolled it out nationwide within 30 days, and it sold out every day for six months. It became wow. a challenge, TTLA challenge, yes. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, man. Yeah, and ain't drove Uber since that day. Oh. Since the fourth day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. And that's the truth. That's the God on the truth. And then, you know, on TikTok, my videos started going viral that first week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got a million followers in the first month. But mm -hmm. I made some carrot bacon. So I, that's how I, that, that's the second video. The, the renegade one is the first one I saw. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that looked like me and Liz trying to be with our kids, which is really relatable. Like, man, these da they be dancing fast on TikTok. It got a lot of moves. I just, I, I can't keep up. Me. And then I saw the carrot bacon, and I was like, that looks fire. Yeah, <laughs> like, and that's, I seen the sushi one you made with the carrots. It's you so juiced the carrots and then used the other side of the juice. So I was like, that's the trash yeah. part. Yeah, you should have so made trash. that the sushi. So good. <laughs> It's so good. But yeah, but that carrot bacon, I think in maybe a, a week or a couple of days, it had like 12 million views. Wow. And it just went crazy. 
And the crazy thing is, I'd have made that carrot bacon on Facebook. I'd have made wow. that carrot bacon on Instagram before. Nobody said nothing. I mean, they thought it was great. They was, oh, that's good. That's good. I'm going to make it. But I made it on TikTok. And it just went crazy. And that's how this whole new wave in the last, you know, 30 days has taken off. And it blessed us. Um, and that's what opened the doors for me for, I mean, the coronavirus, of course, shut everybody down. So people right. have, have been drawn to their phones and to, you know, right. the internet. And I always, you know, I jokingly say, the Lord said, let me shut the world down so they can see you for a second. Mm -hmm. I, 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 be, I told you, I said, I know my mama up there on God like this. Let me tell you something. I, I want you to show, I want my daughter to do this. He's <laughs> wearing his shoulder out, okay? She was like, but wait, I got one more thing that I wanted you to do for her. Because remember, you had said, but literally, it it has blown my mind. Um and it, I mean, it literally opened doors that only God can open. Man. So yeah. isn't it crazy? Because I, I think, so I used to tell Melissa, I thought I was going to be a great long before. Just NBA, I thought it was that. <clears throat> that wasn't it. <laughs> the dream was right. The, the, the vehicle was wrong. I mean, I could hoop, but not, not like they could. But is it, yeah. what is it like to finally see the success in a, in a, industry that didn't even exist when you came here when you were 19 that didn't even exist at all in any shape or form yeah. when you first came what is that like i mean it didn't even exist when we came back in 04 right oh it sure did it exist then i mean we had myspace but it won't like this no, no there were no influences on myspace <laughs> no um you know it feels purpose Right, it was like God's purpose for me mm. uh, because it was never my intention. Right, so this is something that He used to bring me forth and to make my you know dreams into a reality. But the uh, it, it still blows my mind. Like Tan say all the time, he's like, these people just be watching us to watch us. I'm like, it yeah. blows my mind. Yeah, it blows yeah. our mind every day, and to just be able to be myself, yeah, and free. I'm so, so grateful, so very thankful for mm -hmm. that. Because I mean, you know, I did it wrong for a long time. Yeah. I did it wrong for a long time, but I'm thankful that I did it that way because now I have a story to tell. Right. Yeah. You know, and I can hopefully help other people who are just starting to do it wrong and say, uh-uh, don't even go down that route. Mm -hmm. You are enough, you yeah. know? So good. That's definitely what it has done. It has let me know and confirm for me, I'm enough, I've always been enough. My husband has always said, babe, just be you. So now, you know, he rubs that in my face sometimes, like, then I told you. Could have but been I you. told you. All I'm saying is, I was <laughs> right as well. You know what's great about this? This is what I really like about you guys. It doesn't work if there's two taps or two chances or two mm -hmm. me's or two Melissa's. You need that balance of crazy and, and stable to do it. Because I would make, if Melissa didn't reel me back in, I, there's no telling what I would do. You know, and, and you need the tab to be like, man, we're going to do this because then it creates opportunities that just regular, you know, the, the jobs are used to don't create. You know what I mean? So, but we couldn't have done it without, I couldn't have done it without Melissa. Tab couldn't have done it with, with and, and a lot of times in those dark days, it ain't no, this person is your number one fan. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. first follower who has followed you on every platform. And when the videos stink, they like, man, oh, well, shoot. I mean, you, you know, we got to get back out there. You know what I mean? Like. When I have a bad set, Melissa, there have been times Melissa been like, this joke ain't working because you ain't did X, Y, and Z. You used to do it like that. And I'm like, oh, you're right. And then like, just fix it like that. And, and that's what people don't understand. People are always like, man, how could you do it with a family? Like, I couldn't do it without a family. I, could. I wouldn't be able to do it. That's my foundation. That's my, my grounding. That's what keeps me humble. Mm -hmm. I ain't out here chasing women and all that. I come home to, to, to dinner and laughs and and kids and you know what I mean? Like for me, that's what it, what makes it, you know, worthwhile. And if I lost all of it, it would be like, man, that was crazy, man. When we had the nice house, yeah. right, bro, yeah. we live on the fourth floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember right. that time that we, yeah. we, man, we was doing it. <laughs> hey, we talk about that all the time. Yeah. What you just that's said, we talk about that. Which I'd is like, why oh, we be like, let's not make a move. We, I'm so thankful that God is blessing us, but let us, don't, yeah. don't make a move too quick. Let's, Yep. Just, think it through. You know, think it, it through. through. Yeah. Because I used I, to be very much so to 
let's not think about it. Let's just do it. Like, yep. But you know, you, you grow and thank God for the wisdom that comes along with growth. Absolutely. 100%. I have a question uh, that I think might be a fun question since like literally I am Chance Kevin is Tab. <laughs> and you say from each other, what have you learned? Like from her dreaming mind that she is, what have you learned or gleaned over the course of your marriage from her? And then what have you learned? You know what I mean? The opposite. Does my question make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what have I learned from her being a dreamer? Yes. <clears throat> that God is real. That God, um, I wasn't raised in, in the church. Um, couldn't give you a scripture. <laughs> uh, couldn't, you know, I can't tell you much outside of, I, I've always known that uh, he was real, but my faith was kind of delicate, uh, mm -hmm. lack of better words. But <clears throat> I literally remember my mother-in-law uh, prophesizing and my wife telling me things that are coming to pass every day, wow. every day. And uh, watching her throughout this process, 22 years, um, yeah, he, th there's no way that we could be right here where we are today if there's no God. If wow. there's no meant to be. Um, <clears throat> and when I say it's been dead on, like literally, I remember my wife in 2006 or seven working at Macy's, Westfield Mall, Century City, <clears throat> coming home, having discussions with her friends about uh, agencies, just to give you an example. And <laughs> she was very specific. Wow. One day, and I'm like, well, who is, uh, the, it was one would it start with a W. Oh, and William was Morris. William Morris. Oh, and, I'm like, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, I won't buy that lunch today. <laughs> because in my head, I don't know anything about these places, right? right. So I'm like, well, what about the, the people over here off of Hollywood Boulevard? I see I'm like, we can just, I thought, you know, all the agencies was the same. Yeah. I'm like, he was like, they're showing a the billboard where they say they're having auditions. I'm yeah, like, you like, never go to those, so, man. <laughs> <laughs> me, they all the same. And I remember my wife telling me and telling, you know, explaining to me what they were and uh, saying that one day CAA is going to come for me. Wow. <clears throat> and tell us for those who don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I, I remember her saying, specific like it's, it's things that happen and she was like it's gonna happen like this 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 because i would dream it or <clears throat> god would speak to me and my mama would tell me um and then it would be revealed to me again mm -hmm. in a dream and i and i remember my mother-in-law telling me just certain things and and it comes and it goes in association with just being a dreamer and a believer yeah yeah even even when it doesn't happen how you like when she said caa right and she, she explained to me what it was I, because I couldn't see it happening over social media and all, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. My vision was small. My my right. you know, my in, in traditional. In traditional, right? Right. Um, but to see it now come to pass and all of it be so specific, yeah, it, that, that that is definitely my answer to that question. It has definitely uh, confirmed to me that God is real. Mm. That that was an amazing answer. And like I said, for all you guys who don't know, um, Tabitha was just signed to CAA. With how long? <laughs> just a few weeks ago. Yeah, just mm -hmm. just last month. Mm -hmm. Last month. So, I literally, you know, I worked at, at Macy's for five years. That was my first job when we moved to LA. And uh, I would take my little lunch break, honey, and I would walk around CAA. I'm like, one day, God, one day. Right. Every time I, I feel event there. I went to an event a couple years ago. I would go to a screening. I think I maybe went to like four or five events there. And when I would get in the elevator, I would just touch the wall and I would say, oh God, this feel like home. One day, God. One day. Wow. Come on in here, Ty! You better claim it! Yeah, that ain't no shit! <laughs> Watch the elevator. Wash your hands because the Rona is out. <laughs> but you gotta touch it. The Bible says, now unto him uh -huh. huh, that is able to do exceeding Abundant above all you could ever ask or think. It's not your fault, Chance. You couldn't dream big enough because what God has Come on. was bigger than you could have dreamed anyway. Come on. That's right. Is it? Because he said it's more than you can. Yes. Oh, come on in here. And I would tell Chance that. I would, listen, it would be so many days that we would be having the worst, worst time. Bad days, 
going through financially, just, and I would say, babe, don't worry, we're going to be rich one day. God mm-hmm. already told me. God already told me. But can you imagine? Because I didn't know when. I just knew it was coming. Yeah. Again, and we just had this conversation with his friend Ty, that we, the, the one that. Uh, oh. Ty? <laughs> you still cool with Ty? Yeah, yeah. man. That's a, he like my brother. Yeah, you know what I'm talking talk about, Ty? Hey. hey. He told him he was a sucker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we we just had this conversation with him the other day. He said, "Can you imagine?" He was like, "Cause he's been knowing me since I've been pursuing. He's been knowing me since '98. You know, since yeah. we've been together." He said, "But <clears throat> can you imagine telling somebody you can have everything you dream of, but I need you to give me 22 years?" Mm. And he said, "Most people would do that and say, no, nah. He said, yeah. "You cannot stop." Wow. I, I've been doing this for 20, I've been pursuing something for 22 years and it's just now starting to happen. Wow. But I worked while That's I waited. Work. Yeah. Hey, Tap! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I worked while I waited? That's Listen, good. watch this. God, oh, come on, come on, come on, God. I hear you so clear, Holy Ghost. When they came down to anoint Keaton David, uh-huh. okay. where was David? What was huh? he doing? David was out there working. Yes, he was. They, oh, bring me your son. Nope, that ain't it. That ain't it. Oh. That ain't. Surely there's another one. Oh, David couldn't be him. Couldn't be David. Where was David, Tab? He was out there working <laughs> while he was. And guess what? The anointing process isn't the time that you're king. Oh, he was. Hey, yeah, my boy. Hey. <laughs> He was anointed and he still had to wait yes, to did. walk sure in the did. king's shoes. Yes. Oh, come on. All over the building. Y'all touch the screen. It's all, it's all over. It's all over, you tag. It's all over. You had to take a chance on God. Hey, yeah, that was hey, Look, and you know, you know, my kids is uh choice and Wait. quest. Those are our kids' names. So I said I took a chance. I made a choice and now I'm on the quest. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Wasn't Tabitha in the Bible? Didn't she die? Yeah, she did. Dorcas? Dorcas. My, um, yeah. That's the pastor that's that spoke message. that message to you that yeah. changed your life. It is. I Check spoke. your mouth. I no, our pastor spoke directly to her. Told me to get up. Get up! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Check your mouth. Yep. No, that was a real you. message. He spoke to Melissa. And said, "Get up!" Because she wasn't, she wasn't teaching. I wasn't. Doing, she wasn't doing nothing. I was going through it. And he stopped the whole message sure and looked right at Melissa. And he called me to the front. Get up, Tabitha! And sure. he called her Tabitha. He sure did. I kid you not. Real true. Well, we just told the story on the Love Hour. True story. Shit. True story, Tab. No lie. That's- and you know, funny enough, I never knew growing up that my name was. Biblical, right? It wasn't until, you know, my mother got called to ministry when she was sick, mm-hmm. right? And so as she began to really, really get into the Bible, I mean, I grew up in the church, sure. but not like this. And she told me one night, she said, you know, I named you from Bewitch. <laughs> because, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> TV show. <laughs> they didn't have another name planned for me because they thought I was a boy and I came mm-hmm. out, hello, a girl. <laughs> so they couldn't name me Jermaine Jackson then. <laughs> had to come up with something quick. And so she said, I named you Tabitha from Bewitch. She said, but as I've been studying, God has revealed to me, this is exactly who you are. Because, you know, mm-hmm. she was a seamstress. I used to make clothes. Wow. wow. Serve the people. She was always trying to help. And she was like, that is who you are. Wow. And you know, the crazy thing is too, is when my mom was sick, her last year of life, me and mama talked about so many things. But one of the things she told me one night, my mom was on a ventilator her last year of life. So, you know, she was uh, still at home, but in her in the hospital bed and she couldn't move because of the ALS. So I would get up throughout the night to check her. And this one night particularly, um, I got up to check, it was about three in the morning and she was glowing, just glowing and beaming smiling but just crying but just full of joy and I said mama what in the world are you doing awake what's what is going on she said I mean she couldn't even hardly get it out she was just crying she said God just showed me your life what it's gonna be and I said well what well what is it can you you know tell me she said I can't tell you she said but what I will tell you is before any of it happens you will have had a son first I said well mama I ain't having no more kids 
You know, it's just, we got to Why are you still questioning your mom? At this <laughs> point in your life, when was you going to learn? She told you when you was in eighth grade and you still wouldn't listen. Yeah, How many times she got to <laughs> tell you, Tab? Listen, I can tell you stories from my mama that'll blow your mind even more, okay? But she told me that. She said, before if any of it happens, you will have had a son first. And she said, it's going to be amazing and when it happens all you will have had to do was answer your phone and say yes wow mm. no auditioning none of that you'll just answer your phone and you'll offer say yes. only come on in here that's what will happen and so when me and chance years later we literally you know because i got my, my bonus daughter his oldest and we had choice they, the girls were six years apart you know we can't afford to have no more kids yeah. we woke up the same morning Wow. And looked at each other and said, you want to have a baby? Wow. I said, yeah. He said, I think I want to try for a son. And I was like, I think I want to try for a son too. And it literally. And, and listen, that's not broke people talk. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You, a kid is the most, even rich people are like, man, I don't know, man. I only got 20 million. On the I don't know if I got enough for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Them kids will take everything from you. Yes, and and literally, we went to the doctor to you know get a physical and stuff. And the doctor told me she said, "Well, you've been on birth control for ten years. It's going to be a little difficult, you know, in the beginning. If you it may take you about six months before you start ovulating. The next month, I was pregnant with my son. Why they question God? Wow, <laughs> six yeah. months out there. So now, wow. and my mother, her favorite number was the number eight. She said eight is always a sign of new beginnings. Her birthday was on December 8th. My son just turned eight in March. Wow. And all of this is happening now. My new beginning. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> I'm literally, every day, I am blown away, but not surprised. Mm, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and Chance always say, the crazy thing is, so you know how he always say, every time something happened, I'd be like, babe, this is it, this is <laughs> it. Now, I haven't done that once, and he's scared. He's like, you ain't doing what you're doing. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you guys, listen, it's, it's, uh, I had to go to him and sit her down and say, hey, you okay? Am I, am I overreacting this time? Our, our dynamics are off right now. You yeah. supposed to do this. That was your cue. You <laughs> missed it. <laughs> feels like it. He's like, now this feel like when you're supposed to be doing this that. This feels like it. And she just kind of like, calm. I'm like, okay, baby. And I'm listening in on some of these meetings and all, right? I'm ear hustling. Yes, you was getting excited over the, 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 the backyard thing, girl. Yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm like, that sound pretty big. <laughs> I didn't, hey, look, Kev, I didn't Google this person. <laughs> And this person is the real deal. This ain't like the dude you did the movie with 15 years ago. I Googled him. He, 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 I Googled him. Like I, Googled okay. him. I fact check. This is legit. This is how you get excited. IMDb thing. Yeah, he got, he, the he, got IMDb the, thing. he got that IMDb thing. He was this person. And I'm like, so why you ain't, like, why you ain't calling everybody and telling everybody, oh, well, why we ain't talking about me coming out of work no more? Like, <laughs> I was gonna be. You were supposed to take me off my job. Yeah. I went to yeah. work yesterday. Yeah. This seemed real right hey, here. Yeah, like, I'm, on the Zoom. I'm on the Zoom. I'm having a really major meeting, right? And yeah. Chance sitting on the edge of the table. I'm done with the meeting. I mean, this is a, a big meeting. Yeah. I get off. He said, "Now, at, at, at what point is we gonna talk about?" <laughs> <laughs> Cause that sound like the that sound like the one right there. Now what what, 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 what we doing? What, what's, what's, I said, babe, you know I got you. Hey, you are my priority, babe. Hey, you so know. hey, hey, Melissa. So you, I mean, you know, look, I'm so glad to have met <laughs> Kev. You, you a cool guy, man. But I'm so glad to have met your wife, man. So. You we was boys for the first 30 minutes, boy, till y'all moved to L.A. It ain't been the same thing. Boy, listen. Hey, so look, I'm just sitting back like, okay. Oh, God. All, all these years. Oh. All these I years. I paid dues. Yeah, all these years when you talk, you know, hey, every little thing. It could be, oh, it could be she just came across somebody and gave him a head shot. We about to blow up. Right? Now these people sitting in here and talking about numbers and all of this, and I'm sitting here and she just calmly just typing away and moving on to the next meeting. 
and the and the agents and this team of people calling and all of this, and I'm sitting back like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna give it a day. Yeah, this is not a drill. <laughs> <laughs> this this is real. Listen, Tabs have made it so many times in her mind. She is. She already been here. And then I feel, but you know what it is, and this is why I told Chance. I said all the other times, right? I was so excited because my spirit probably was not even settled. I, and so I'm, the flesh was just like this, but now I'm settled because I'm home. Mm. I'm supposed to be, right? And I'm excited. I'm grateful. I'm over. I'm, I'm, listen, I have so much gratitude, but I feel positioned, mm. right? So I feel like he placed me here and that's why I can move in a calm manner. I, that's because- so good. Also, in no rush. Mm. Tabata! You can't just give me anything, and I don't care about how much money is on it. Because now I know who I am. Yes. Girl, Tab, let me tell you something. Let me, I ain't going to say no names, okay? <laughs> I done met some people that I'm talking about, thought was going to change my life 20 years in the past. Yes. They sent me a deal, and I'm like, no, oh, no. Mm-mm. 20 years ago, Kev, I would have signed my, in blood. My, and, and now, you yeah. know what? When you know who you are and you know what you bring to the table, you can't know. sign bad deals because you don't need them. No. Only good deals. Only Because good. the best leverage you can ever have is being is, able to say no. Is being able to say no. No. Yep. Listen. When you don't, I really don't I, need this. I don't. Well, need then you know what they start to say, Tab? Well, what, what makes sense this to you? Yeah. How do we make this? Well, now you're speaking my you language. Oh, you come back to me now. But yeah. when you can only say yes, they got you in the palm of your hand. But when you can say no, now we negotiate. We literally, we in the last two weeks, I have turned down two really nice offers, right? So <laughs> Look at your ass, girl. <laughs> Look at your <chance. laughs> I, went in there and I, said, I just, you know, I just said, you know, this offer came in, but we said no to it. He said, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Who are you? And where is my wife? <laughs> First of all, we, we just saying no. We ain't talking about it. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I said, but babe, we bigger. I'm, you know, wait a minute. Bigger wait a minute. <laughs> I know my worth. And wait, I, wait that's. Minute. I'm worth more. I, we, so hold he, up. So yesterday, same thing happened. He said, "Well, you know, babe, um, we blessed, thank you." I said, "Yes," but he said, "Cause, ooh, <laughs> I, I never dreamt of a day that we'd say no, no to something like that." And I'm on vacation. I'm not out of work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chef came and looked at the paperwork. Hold on, Tad. Let me just. <laughs> Oh, you 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 mean the so you seen the zero? Okay, put my glasses on so you can see it. Yeah, let me <laughs> put my glasses on. Hey, it was just like this right here. I said, hold up. <laughs> hey, hold up. Let me let me let me pause my game real quick. I was like, he had a little headphone. He's talking about wait, I'm gonna call him. Hey, I was just headphones up. Yeah, this important. That's woo. You say what now? But I tell you what, what mm. I do know, and it just like Chen said, in August, right, of 2017, when we was doing our little vegan challenge, mm-hmm. Chance came to me, he said, babe, let's, let's go get, you a, get your notebook. Let's go sit outside in the backyard and let's write down everything we believe in God for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's write good. That's just you know, now I'm not working. Mm-hmm. I just started feeling better, but I was on disability over here. My savings are gone. Yeah. And Quite frankly, we was broke, you know? Mm-hmm. And my husband is my partner, not my provider. Yeah. Okay? And so we sat outside in our backyard and we wrote, we each had a list. He had his list, I had my list. Mm-hmm. And everything on that list has come to pass. Wow. Zero money in the bank, okay? Yeah. I wrote on my list, I said, in 2018, I want to buy a house. Lord, I don't know how, but I'm believing that I'm going to buy a house wow. in 2018, okay? I want to pay off my debt, all my debt. I want to pay my car off. Lord, I want a new manager. I want to be able to get a manager who can take my career to the next level, Lord. I put on that, I want a, a, a new, like, I, well, what I had put was, I said, I want to book a commercial because I need about $10,000 of residuals. Yeah. So I put that down, right? 
And my other thing, the only thing that has not come up off my list was I want to retire my husband in three to five years. Wow. August will be three years. Wow. And my plan is to take my husband out of work. <gasps> that is my plan. Because I don't, I don't feel right with my husband having to wear a bulletproof vest to work every day if he don't have to. Right. Mm. Right. And, and, and I'm thankful. We are thankful that he has had this career that right. is to provide for our family. Right. But if I can take him out of harm's way, yes. that is, and we can just continue to build our empire together. Yes. That is my, my dream. And I know that if God took everything off that list, mm. brought it into fruition, he'll do the same. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. yeah. yeah. And answer Woo! your question, Melissa, what I have learned through all of these years, yes. oh, I don't, I don't know. Now, yes. where I am now, is that I know he truly is like he loves me unconditionally. Cause honey, I done took him through, okay? <laughs> honey, if anybody would have same mind, I also know that he got a little bit of crazy in him too. Cause anybody would have completely same mind would have probably left with my big dream in mind. Cause I mean, I have went into some places in this head. Mm -hmm. that he has allowed me to go and come back and, uh, and he's just forever been there. Even when, you know, I, Got the craziest of ideas. However, I will say again, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Listen, Tab is as petty as Chance was in eighth grade. She done went 45 minutes. However, I was right. I thought you was going to talk about God. No, no, no. <laughs> the Lord had spoken to me and he said, this is not the life I planned for you. Oh. And here we are today. You know, to looking at a mirror. Uh, a mirror. Uh, okay. We was living in LA. We we lived in the same neighborhood. Was at the same gym and didn't even know it. Didn't even know. And 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 I remember Karen telling me years ago. Oh, my friend Kathy does videos. I was like, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> it never clicked that it was you. Never. And I think I seen you one time at a distance in the uh, Northridge Mall years ago. And I told us to do to be doing the look for that. She had said it was a video or something that you had did. And she, she was like, man, she was laughing at it. And uh, she showed it to the Waffle House. And I said, oh, I seen him at my gym. <laughs> said, uh, wow. Say something to him. Yeah, I said, I said don't tell him to put uh -uh. in the video. <laughs> I said, no, nah, I ain't going to say none of that, brother. He might come up <laughs> one of them videos. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I man, you see him over here trying to do these mm -hmm. cooking videos and stuff. Maybe he want to do vegan said, stuff nah. or something. Go when you at the gym the next time. This was like 2017. I said, uh, I ain't Go say with that, brother. something to him. Nope. He was like, no, nah, I ain't going to do that because you, you were talking about me on the video. Wait a minute. Everybody says, I ain't doing that so you can talk about me in the video. <laughs> 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 oh my God! But yeah, that's I mean, God has brought us, you know, from a mighty, mighty long way, and, and we're able mm -hmm. to still not only be together and love each other, but we still like each other. Yes, so good. man, that's only going. That's gotta keep you, man. Yeah. During this pandemic, it is stretching people's relationship. Like, yeah. how much can you? It's a lot. Pandemic yeah. is a lot of stress and strain stress. in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And that love, love means a lot of things, but like, you can love, you know, Denzel Fisher said, I love you. That means I put food on the table and clothe you. I don't have to like it. <laughs> right. A lot of people living in these marriages with love and no like. Right. You know, so. Um, love is a natural thing, right? We love by default. Mm. That's how we have a heart. It's how we were designed. That's how you can see somebody about to get hit by a car and instinctively want to say it. Yeah. We were designed that way. But you don't like by default. Mm -mm. Yes. That's you, good. You, you look at people and know if you like them or not. You, you right. have to sit around them for a little bit. Yeah. But love doesn't go anywhere because you have a heart. But honey, you don't wake up every day and like each other. That's Man, true. what you talking, Tab and Chan? What you talking? This has been a... This was so I mean, great. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. I feel my cheeks hurt from laughing. 
It is confirmation. It is a, it is a mirror of a couple. Only thing that changed is the sex. But it, it is I it is just I have just had the time and I really needed to I did too. have this episode. For me, Kevin. Not yeah. Kevin on stage. And me, Melissa. Kevin needed to have this episode. Uh I'll let uh, you close it out. Okay. The reason we needed to have the episode just called us right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Thank you guys a Thank million you. times over. I I feel lighter and it was precisely what we needed. So thank you guys so much. For anyone who is interested in following you on any platform, please tell them where they can find the both of you. And everyone is saying, please start that podcast, by the way. See? <laughs> I had to plug it out there to make them do it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I am Tabitha Brown everywhere. Tabitha Brown or I am Tabitha Brown dot com. Yours is what? T- tell your IG handle, babe. You know he getting used to it. Oh, I don't really. Oh, mine is for my little team. Babe, you yeah. say that Team Chance Basketball. Oh, okay. Okay. Team yeah, so- Chance <laughs> Basketball. Um, the Patreon audience have en- has enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed this episode i know I kevin did. did thank you guys your story was freaking phenomenal someone please put this in a book form and then make it a movie okay these things need to happen thank you guys a million times over i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day that's it y'all until the next time on the little video <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.